Hello and welcome back to Trains A New Era. Today we are going to be looking at the final tutorial over here which is the steam tutorial and as you can see, well, we're in a steam locomotive. There you go. Look at that. Very, very nice. Let's have a look outside on the chase view. Lovely. For some reason I'm highlighting the regulator. I have no idea why. What does that say? Chesapeake? Chesapeake and Ohio? Where's Chesapeake? I don't know. What's with the uh, green lights? What What does that mean? Americans? What, what does green lights on your on your uh, steam locomotives mean? Does that mean it's it's safe to to climb into? Or that's a lovely locomotive. It's not exactly the easiest one. It doesn't look like it's going to be an easy one to to understand because that's what a a two eight four. That's a two eight four locomotive with with a a tender car with a 6.6 six on the tender car and it's it's hauling freight this is a freight train it's not a, not quite a big boy definitely not a big boy but anyway let's go go and get ourselves back inside and actually actually get this done let's see let's see what uh what we can get uh right just like in a diesel cab, the Steam Loco controls can be operated by mouse or by keyboard shortcuts. In the display on the right, you'll notice that some of the details are different. Yes, we've got regulator, boiler pressure, cutoff, water levels, steam chest pressure, and coal levels. And over here, obviously, we've got water, coal. Um, that's the independent brake. Do we have an independent brake on this on this train? I don't. I don't know. I do not know. Alright. When taking control of a steam loco, there are a few things first you should or you should first check. Boiler. Indicates the pressure available in the boiler to power the locomotive. This must be maintained to keep the locomotive running. Alright, so boiler pressure for us is there. That's our boiler pressure. There we go, and you can read that to be 210, 20, 30, 36, 236. Oh, well, it says 240 there, but I'm reading 236 on here. Okay. Water indicates the level of water in the slight in the sight glass. This should be maintained around 60 to 70 percent. Where is the sight glass? That must be the sight glass right there by using the injectors to pump water into the boiler note the water slider in the lower right of the screen tap I repeatedly to open up the injectors oh basically it's just move that oh no that doesn't there we go it's just basically move that okay and there we go that's now climbing up as the as it goes crazy again coal level burning coal heats the water to produce steam standard how a standard method of a steam engine uh, pressure in the boiler drops as steam is consumed and also when water is injected into the boiler right so when you inject water into the boiler boiler pressure will drop that's going up ah no right I can see what's happening look every time you hear that noise the pressure's jumping down look there we go. It's not calibrated all too well. It, it looks like it's 5 psi out. Anyway, uh, right. Add coal to the fire by pressing spacebar to increase boiler pressure. The best firing technique is to add a, add a little coal often. Right, that's almost where it needs to be as well. So let's go ahead and... I suppose that's adding boiler pressure. The reverser is used to select the direction of travel and also controls the cutoff. Fully forward is represented by 75% cutoff on the display on the right, so that's that. Uh, press F or hold F to select full forward gear, so that's going to be moving this over here. There you go, so that's our gearing. Fantastic. So that's now set to 75%. I feel like my injectors can go off at this point because we've got plenty of water in there. I don't know what's going to happen with the coal. I, f 
feel like I should be adding coal, but I can't tell whether I'm adding coal. So I don't know. Okay, watch the water level and reduce the injectors when the level is around 60 to 70. So it's about 80, it's actually 85. Uh, the injector handle has several positions. With practice, you can learn to keep them open just enough to match the water usage under given circumstances. So we can switch this to about 25%. So I'm actually going to do that, like so. Okay, regulator. Admit steam to the cylinders that turn the driving wheels. Open the regulator to 15% initially to avoid wheel slip. So, Q to release the brakes and W to gently open the regulator. So that's our train brake. That goes up. That's all the way down. Okay. So now our brakes are released and now this is our regulator here. This one right here. You can actually see we're about to start moving, but if I bring that forward to about there, we are now moving. Now boiler pressure is going down massively, so I feel like I should be adding coal. Gradually increasing to 100% as you get underway. Alright. What was that changing noise? That's now a full regulator. Uh, the noises are really weird. But we are underway. We are, we are driving a steam train. Look at that! With really weird sounds. From inside the cabin, it can be difficult to see the road ahead. If we press this, we can see diff- ooh! Right. Okay, so we're going to switch to head out view. There we go. Okay, done. I feel like I'm doing something very wrong here though. I don't know, there's something that I feel like we're doing wrong. Also, we should have a whistle, right? I don't like that. It doesn't sound classy. I'm used to ones that sound a lot classier. I don't like that one. I'm sorry, I'm sorry Americans, I just don't like that one. Okay, cut off reduces the time that steam is admitted to the cylinders during each stroke. This reduces acceleration and power but uses steam more eff effectively. Negative cut off values are reversed to so keep the number positive. So we're going to tap R until the cutoff comes down to about 25%. There we go. So if we go back inside, that is this thing over here we've brought down. That's what we've done. Okay. Uh, is that one? That view isn't brilliant, I'll be honest, when it sh sh throws you out. That's not exactly the best of views, but we are pottering along at 33 miles an hour. That's probably the fastest I've been in a steam train in a long time. Slowing this train down is going to be an interesting one. I mean, there's a there's a signal that's going to be yellow um, in half a mile. Interesting. We have done a mile on the trip. I like this, a dometer and trip meter. So we've done a single mile in this train altogether, and we've done one... Oh, excuse me. We've done one mile on this trip. Looking at that, that looks a little bit crazy. Ugh. Right, up ahead you will be required to reduce to minim medium speed. Shut off the steam to allow the train to coast. So we're just going to bring the regulator down to basically nothing. There you go, now we're in coast. So that's, if we go back inside, that's this. We've just basically reduced this to zero, like so. Okay, great. There's our yellow aspect right there. So we are going to have to slow down, but we are going uphill. Right, the line is climbing here, so your train will slow down without the need for braking. Once your speed gets down to 30, increase and decrease the regulator as required to maintain speed. Okay. So we're at 30 now. So now I've increased the regulator to, to 80% to see if we can maintain this speed. Which I think we're doing 
fairly effectively here. Maybe 70 will do the trick. It would probably, it'd probably be easier if we were inside and we had better control. Unfortunately, this doesn't have controls, fine controls in single single units. It has it in, in uh, sort of increments of 10. I'm not, I'm not all too keen about that. Right, we're on the green signal. That's the middle one there. I did a signaling tutorial. I've actually forgotten the signals myself, all of them. But I do remember that once it's to cross over, the top one was to go straight. This is the middle one, I believe. Oh, we're, we're going a little bit fast. We're going just a smidge fast. Just one mile an hour over the limit. All right, we're pottering in. There we go, we're back down. All right. It's a good view. I think they did that on purpose. No, I don't I don't like that sound. I just don't like that sound. I'm going to slow myself right the way back down. And we're back into our views. Right, the line climbs steeply. Adding coal will momentarily cool the fire. Injecting water will rob you of some boiler pressure. It's good practice to have plenty of water in the boiler and a hot fire before starting a long ascent. So, let's get some water and... Let's get this going in for a moment. There we go. So that gives us 178 PSI over there. Ah, oh, yeah, last time we went this way, I remember. I was climbing up. I, I mentioned this. This one. I did say that's going to be quite a climb, isn't it? And uh, it certainly is quite a climb. I'm slowing down. But I have given myself maximum power on the regulator now. And let's see if we can maintain some amount of... Uh, some semblance to movement going uphill. 21 miles an hour but we are okay we got up the hill we didn't lose too much boiler pressure um, if we go inside we've probably got plenty of water as a matter of fact that seems full to me that looks full to me so I'm actually going to switch off the injector yeah water 94% all right uh, how do I get back to my view that one why does it keep resetting? All right, now we're going to uh, increase our speed again. I could have, I suppose I could have put the cutoff up. I've forgotten what they call that in the UK. It's not a, it's not a cutoff, is it? It's a regulator and a, oh, what's that wheel called? That's going to bug me. That's going to really bug me. Oh, that's a, that's an even higher, that's an even steeper hill that we just went over. Um, that's going to really bug me. That's really, really going to bug me now. It's not a regulator. The regulator is the handle. The wheel is the... Not the cutoff. It's something. It's called something else. And I cannot remember. Great. Someone in the comments is going to tell me exactly what it is and once I hear it I'm going to be like oh yeah that's what it is reverser never mind that's what it is reverser I got it I got it it took it took a moment but I got it I got there in the end I am slowing down massively here I mean, it, is a, it is a 35 mile an hour corner but I'm slowing down massively is my tr all right as the speed falls it's okay to increase the cutoff yes that's what I was thinking. There we go. So F and R control our cutoff. So this is going to use a lot more boiler pressure. Right, we're using up some water here as well. We've got plenty of coal, 118% coal. I don't think don't think we need 118% coal. I'm going to reduce the coal that I'm supplying um,
It's a good view. Good view. They are giving us some very scenic views. Now, I do like this about the tutorials, you know, in trains. I do really like that. On locals with a standard train brake, the handle is moved to service position to prevent brake pipe pressure causing the brakes to apply. Pressure will continue to drop until the handle is moved to the lap position. I feel like I should be inside again. Just, just going to point that out. Uh, 29. I really think I can reduce pressure now. Not to that, but there. Yeah, I feel like I feel like that's good, good pressure, good speed. Semaphore signal right there. Can I get back on an equalizing reservoir? Is used to I instantly gauge the level of brake pipe application. When a moderate brake application is required, wait for equalizer to show a 15 psi reduction before moving the handle to the lap position. Right, I really want to be inside again. I feel like this is this is kind of important for me to be inside looking at this. We are getting up to speed fairly nicely here. We're losing water as well though, so I'm going to actually start adding a bit of water in. There we go. We don't want to we don't want to lose too much water. I like that noise. I do like the noise of the bogey on that. There we go, we're back inside now. Or back on, on the train. Right, you didn't tell me that. You're exceeding the speed limit. Hold S to close the regulator. Press A to apply and Z to lap the brake. Right, you did not. Why would you do this to me? There we go. We are now braking and Q is going to release it. That's silly. There we go. And obviously it takes a few moments for the for the pressure to sort itself out. And we can bring in our power again on this handle right here. Obviously from here we can probably be a lot more Yeah, we can we can have a lot more finer control on this regulator from here. Yeah, I know I'm speeding, but I'm about to go into a 50. I shouldn't be doing that. I know I shouldn't be doing that. That's okay. We're, we're, we're doing okay. Oh, no, I do need to be braking again. For the climb... From here, the line climbs up. Okay, ensure the regulator is set to 100. Okay. Maximum power. I feel like our water level needs to be... We need to have a lot of water going into this. And we're going to bring that up. No, we're not. I feel like they're not telling us. They're not giving us all the information here. Because I'm doing 38. And I really shouldn't be. I feel like I really need to be slowing down now. 37... 36. I'm okay at that speed. I'm, I'm happy with that speed. 36. We're about to go into a 40 and then a 50. Not too bad though. Not too bad. Right. We're slowing down a little bit. So if I give myself full on the reverser, full forward on the reverser, we should, or well, you hear it get louder. And that is a lot better for, uh, obviously that's as cranking up the cranking up the power we are low on water our boiler pressure seems to be okay we've got plenty of coal oh and that why do you do this at some points this isn't a good idea I'm, I'm going to say that it isn't a good idea at some points to do this I mean sure it looks scenic and all but we're going nowhere we're absolutely going nowhere we're going to lose we're, I feel like I'm going to have to reduce that water pressure just to keep the, I mean, the, the injectors. We'll reduce the injectors just to ensure that I get the, uh, 
I have enough steam here in the boiler. Enough pressure in the boiler, should I say, to get going. That's a very narrow bridge. Very narrow. I can't see anything through the smoke. Right, we seem to be gaining speed very slowly. We have 56 in the water. Our steam chest is okay. Our coal level's at 91. We should be fine with the coal for now. We've got a yellow signal coming up. I'm going to go back into cab view. I'm just, I'm just going to go back into cab view here. Because I feel like it's more important for me to be understanding what's going on here than it is for, for me to be you know, enjoying the view. I mean, yes, the view is lovely, but I do feel like it's more important for me to be understanding what's going on here. So back in the 35, or oh, that was a warning for a 35 coming up. I'm not going to get to 35. We are still climbing uphill. Is that... Oh, no, not that. That's the yellow for us. That top one there. There's the 35 limit. So the next signal is... Also yellow? No, wait. I'm confused. I am confused here. Right, we're still climbing. We're managing about 28 miles an hour. We're losing water slowly. Uh, you'll be stopping up ahead at uh, Osseo Village. And we're going to close the regulator. There you go. Regulator is now closed. I feel like the, the train is coasting quite nicely to a halt over here. And we're down to 18 miles an hour. Stop at the village. A to apply the brake. Z to lap it. Sure. A to apply the brake. We're going to wait for that equalizer pressure. I feel like that's a good point to lap. I'm going to release the brake there. Add a bit more into the regulator. I don't know where this... Uh, go outside, have a look outside. And we're going to stop the train here, I suppose. And we'll just uh, apply. Is that not applying? I thought that should be applying the brake. Yeah, that's applying the brake. I'm just going to stop at this red signal right here. Z to lap that. And we've stopped. Fantastic. Congratulations. You have completed this tutorial. If you would learn, like to learn more about steam locomotive operation, you can find an extended reference here. Okay, but I'm not going to do that because uh, I'm actually going to end this video here. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel for more videos on trains and new era. If you want to see more of this, let me know in the comments box below. Obviously, the dynamic brake was the one that we messed up. But if I go over here to skip tutorials, you can see I have a whole load of assets I can download uh, because I have the platinum bundle. But this is one that I'm kind of interested in. The Great Western, uh, sorry, the, the um, East Coast Main Line. King's Cross to Edinburgh. I'm kind of interested in running that. So if you want me to be run any of these, look at I think I've got do I have all of them? I feel like I may have pretty much all of these. Settle Carlisle is a 
is a very, very important one. I feel like I, I may want to do this. Um, I don't know whether I've got it. I may have it. Um, I'll find out. But let me know which one of these you want to see. And if I do have it installed. I'm not entirely sure what I do and do not have installed. Um, I think... Blue is installed? No. I don't know what's what. But I'll find out anyway. And whatever you want to see, let me know. And I will try and make it for you. I'm quite interested in doing this Settle Carlisle run. Particularly the British ones, though, because I'm, I'm generally, I think I'd be pretty good with the British ones. But you never know. The very first time I played a train simulator, I actually was in uh, on an Australian one. I was doing one of those big cargo runs with, a, I think it was coal, going through, going through some roads in Australia. And that was actually trains, uh, a new era. And then I went to the old train simulator, and that's when I started looking at steam engines, Settle Carlisle route. And then I moved on to Railworks, and now I'm back in trains. So let's see what happens. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, leave comments. Like I said, uh, if you aren't watching this on Twitch, thumbs up and uh, a thumbs up and a follow, please. And if you can afford to do so, please do consider throwing a few dollars my way on Patreon. Link to that is in the description box below. Your support would be massively, massively appreciated. And of course, you will get access to my Discord server. And there's a lot starting to go on on the Discord server. So you guys do have something to enjoy and a nice little community to join. So yeah, do, do consider that and we'll see what happens. Thank you very much for watching once again. And I will see you guys next time in Trains, A New Era.